I literally spent five hundred. It's St. Harper, aka your favorite blondie. So, if you guys watched my previous video, you know I went to Sephora and spent a whole lot. I literally spent $500 at Sephora, and guess what today is? Today, we're going to be literally trying on all of the viral makeup that I spent $500 on. So, why not? But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe, comment below, tell me what you think of this video, and yeah, let's get right into it. AKA, just so you guys know, some of the products that I'll be going over are Milk Makeup Products OS, which means one size products and a little bit of Benefit Cosmetics, the new Rare Beauty products. Because I'm me, obviously I love expensive things and what girly doesn't, and I got a little bit of Dior. And Sol Janeiro products because obviously why not? Their products feel so good, they're moisturizing, and they absolutely smell so good. So yeah, let's actually get right into this. Since I already have foundation on, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this Rare Beauty Soft Luminous Powdered Blush, which I think is so beautiful. And this is in the shade Joy, and I'm definitely joyful for even, like, trying this because this has gone viral and, like, so many people were, like, going crazy over it, and I'm like, I need to try this for myself and just... Feel the happiness, the joy from this blush. So I'm going to be trying that. But I'm first going to go ahead and get into this Dior Backstage Concealer, which I could not help myself to buy because I'm just a girl that loves, 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 and like falls for a really good concealer and a foundation. So I'm going to do this. I already have foundation on. I didn't buy a foundation, which I should have, but we always have next time. And I'm going to be using this concealer. And I love a good Dior product, honestly. It just does the job for me. I feel like it's so lightweight. It's just beautiful. Like, it's just everything that you need. And yeah, I love like how lightweight it is. And how like flawless and just beautiful. It gives you the like natural glow. But you have makeup on. And people could never tell. So I love a good concealer. Like I said, this is Dior. This is the Backstage in the shade 4N. So if you are a girly that's like has a sandy color to your skin. Like that's like your undertone. Or even like you have a yellow undertone then that shade would be like absolutely perfect for you. So you can already see I was like snatching right under my eye. And that's what I'm saying. Like when you find like the perfect concealer, you've found like the perfect concealer and there's no like stopping you. Like I can easily go off. Even though it cost me around like basically $50 for it, I would definitely go back and like buy like a whole bunch of Dior products just because the products like it's like quality and it looks like quality like you can a lot of people think like you can't tell the difference between an expensive concealer and a cheap concealer but in some cases you can see a difference because like i call it a designer concealer it's going to be thinner and it's just going to have like that professional finish to your makeup and that's why it's so important to like make sure you are somewhat picky. Not saying like the cheaper concealers are bad because they totally aren't bad at all. Like I've used so many like drugstore concealers that I love to like mix them in. But I feel like this Dior concealer just does the job for me like i don't really see myself wanting to go back to like the drugstore concealers i don't really know but all i know is that one went viral and i can see why like it's literally gorgeous so yeah this is my forever my baby like i should totally put like this like pink ribbon on it just to make it look really cute and girly because why not so 
this is what it's looking like no creasing it's not too oily and it's simply simply gorgeous and i love that so i'm just using this concealer blending brush but let's see how it blends with my powder puff pad I absolutely love using them as you know it's pink my favorite color is pink so yeah so yeah just i like how it blends that's like really really nice I love that and it's, it blends in flawlessly with my makeup literally literally gorgeous it was well worth the money well worth the money so I got the Huda Beauty peach pie they only have like one left, so I'm like, this stuff has to be amazing. And I'm just gonna put it right under my eyes. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm like gasping for air. That's how gorgeous it is. Look at how lifted my face looks. It's like mattifying, which I love. It's not even like drying. So far it doesn't feel like drying. Gosh, that is beautiful. It literally makes my skin look like I have a filter on. That is, I mean, amazing. I'm in love with this. I am in love with this. The only thing I don't like is that when you apply it, it's like all these like, I guess it's from the powder, but like all these little thingy majigs just floating in the air while you're applying your, you know, powder. And I don't exactly like that, but I'm sure there's a way around it. I mean. And I'm gonna take my powder brush and just sort of like get any of the extra. So like I said, any like powder, if you have extra, just take a powder brush and get all of that off your face. So now we're gonna be getting into the one thing I've been waiting for. This is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the shade Joy. And I knew this was like, this was going to be the stuff because I've used Rare Beauty's products before and I love them. Like her products are amazing, their quality and they give you pigment and you don't have to use a whole lot you just have to use a little bit and it goes such a far way and that's why i absolutely love selena gomez products so it comes in this little plastic and look at that i'm so happy oh my gosh i'm like oh Did I just die and come back to life? Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone pinch me. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't, I can't. I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to try this. Pink and pink, okay. And this is in the shade Joy. Let's give it a try. My hand's shaking. It has a little cute mirror. Okay. What? 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 Do you guys see the glow and the pigment? And that's just using a little bit. Literally, I am in love with this blush. Like. <sighs> oh my gosh. Let's do the other side. 
this is literally bringing me joy like like what it says is literally bringing me joy oh my gosh this is so pretty like i literally give this a thousand out of a thousand a 10 out of 10 so gorgeous i'm so happy i bought this who knew i was literally missing joy the entire time little on the nose because just have to this is beautiful 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 oh my gosh I can see why this was going viral I can see why I can literally see why it is gorgeous and you don't need a lot and I love that. You don't need a lot, honestly. Just a little bit will get you this. And it looks healthy, it's luminous. Literally what it says is how the product acts and applies onto your makeup. This is a flawless. This is a flawless. Next up is this Benefit Cosmetics Cookie Highlight which is super exciting because I'm very picky about my highlighter. I don't want anything that's like too bright or like just gives us like cakey or like like I'm like as as glowing as the moon. I don't want that. I want a really 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 pretty natural glow. So, let's see how this does. These products have me shook. These products have me shook. <gasps> this is this is so beautiful, perfect. I love it, and it's such like this natural, beautiful glow. It's not like you're making yourself glow. This is just natural and like oh, effortless, effortless. And I did not pick up a lip liner, which I probably should have, but I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this NYX lip liner in the shade Coco. So I do have some more products that I was not able to go over in this video because we are pushed for time. But let me know if you want to see a part two of what I bought what viral products I bought at Sephora. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and this is the finish look. And I am absolutely loving this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye girlies.